Now we're going to perform the high glucose rate harvest. This is just a reminder that the fiber cell videos should serve as a addition to the manual and the quick start guide. And it is important to follow all of the protocols and methods demonstrated. So we're going to perform a high glucose rate harvest. The high glucose rate harvest should be performed when the glucose uptake rate is between a gram and a gram and a half per day. It serves two functions. One is to help control the cell mass within the cartridge, and the second is to keep the pores in the fiber open for good nutrient and waste product exchange. So first we're going to attach some fresh syringes to the cartridge, being sure that we utilize good sterile technique. We've closed the left hand end port slide clamp and cracked the reservoir bottle one quarter of a turn so that pressure can equalize within the reservoir bottle. So we have one syringe attached. Again, we'll use good sterile technique, plenty of alcohol. Remember, it is the evaporation of alcohol that sterilizes, not the application. And I find it useful to utilize the alcohol pads when handling the lure fittings on the cartridge. So now what we're going to do then is open the side port slide clamp of one of the syringes. We have the left end port slide clamp closed. The right is open. Now I've cracked the reservoir bottle. We're going to gently withdraw 10 mils of media into the left syringe. It doesn't matter which one we do first. What we're doing is pulling media out of the reservoir bottle, through the fibers, and into the syringe. We close the left side port slide clamp, open the right, and again withdraw gently 10 mils of media out of the reservoir bottle, through the fibers, and into the syringe. This gives us our volume that we require for the harvest. Now we'll close the right end port slide clamp. Both end port slide clamps are closed. Both side port slide clamps are open. And now we're going to swish back and forth between the two syringes. The higher the glucose uptake rate, the more times we want to swish back and forth. Anywhere between three and five times, the more times we swish back and forth, the more cells we will remove. Keep in mind that we have diluted the product by 50%, so the high glucose rate harvest is typically preceded by the low glucose rate harvest. Generally, we want to perform this at least once a week, even if the glucose rate is not above a gram per day, in order to keep the pores of the fiber open. And when we do this, then we can simply inject the cells back into the cartridge. If we're performing a harvest with a 5 kD molecular weight cutoff, we want to add 10 mils of volume to the syringe so we have some volume to work with. It's difficult to get more than a mil withdrawn into the syringe with a 5 kD. After we switch back and forth, we put all of our ECS harvest into a syringe, one side, it doesn't matter which one. And we're going to collect our harvest into a 50 milliliter conical tube and replace the syringe. I find it easier just to simply utilize the syringes as lure caps instead of replacing the lure caps onto the cartridge. We close the side port slide clamps, open the end port slide clamps, ensuring that we've opened the left hand end port slide clamp. And I always like to give the pump tubing a little bit of a squeeze a couple of times just to make sure that we have good fluid flow through the insides of the fiber in the cartridge. So this represents the high glucose rate harvest. Please feel free to contact Fibercell Systems with any questions.